I'm making this mostly for my own amusement. I once again cleaned it up for the most part. It's still, it's still pretty nasty in here. <clears throat> A lot better than it was, but those are all of my socket sets. Nico, and then one of them is the quarter inch one is Sun X. Let's see here. Zoom out. <clears throat> I use these cargo bars uh, vertically against each column bank of each bank of drawers to lock them into place because the locks uh, the lock failed within a couple of days. All of these are <clears throat> almost all of them are Pittsburgh. I got a, the, this three-piece set of the Aris or A R E S brand. They're, uh, I haven't used them a whole lot, but I like that they're 90 tooth. Got this at, these were the Tractor Supply brand. I think one of them just kind of fell apart, but they're kind of neat because they're, they're toothless or gearless. But um, you don't hear the sound of the ratcheting, which I don't really like. I, I like to hear the ratcheting noise, you know. Feel like I have a lot of different <clears throat> adapters and um, extensions. <clears throat> These were the Barn Star Tractor Supply brand, and they are absolute trash. I should probably just toss them. I've already tossed one of them, but uh, this is not one of them. This thing is kind of cheap. It's a bit extension, but um, it's saved me a few times these are always nice to have this three-piece set of these at uh, Harbor Freight I love these things they're, they're really high quality for you know I think it was like nine dollars for all three of them so <clears throat> This is just <clears throat> kind of any measuring equipment. Thermometer. These are nice to have. <clears throat> Although you could just put a um, like a paper clip in the 30 and 87 terminal, but I don't really always know the equivalent on some of those <clears throat> relays. Just a really cheap caliber caliper, but it works well. Tests. Uh, Fuel injectors, brake gauge. It's the only thing I have from Capri Tools, and I really like it. Um, I think you probably know what that is. Obviously, I haven't used this yet, but um, I think it would be worthwhile to have. drawer of pliers that I use most often. This is the three-piece set. Um, two of them. Oh, there's the other one right there. I think there's like $8.99 at Harbor Freight. You really can't beat that deal. They're not the highest quality, but who cares for that price? This is great for those body clips, you know, bumper clips or whatever. It destroys them in most cases, but it, it's really nice to have. I really like the Master Force brand from Menards. Um, these little mini pliers, the whole set, you know, there's like six in the set. I pretty much never found a use for them. These are the um, Doyle brand, which is the Klein, the uh, Klein knockoff um, from Harbor Freight. <clears throat> I really like them. I really like the quality of them. Um, here's another. Doyle, it's a mini bolt cutter in that case. Another Master Force from Menards. I bought these like at least five years ago, and uh, they're really nice to have. I found these on the ground at the junkyard. They're the HDX by Home Depot. I mean, they're just your basic cheap um, locking pliers, but they're great for the strut rods on a um, hood, you know, that, that fall down. Just yesterday, <clears throat> I put the change the contents of this. These are crow's wrench feet, metric, standard, and then those are the Christmas tree bit or step bit drills, uh, 
um, drill bits. Just uh, some various wrenches here. I've already gone through those. Um, more of the power tools down here. <clears throat> I really like this brand, this No Cry or Nico brand. The Nico one went out on me, and so the variable speed thing did. So I just got it for 80 bucks. I just got this replacement Nico or this uh, No Cry brand. It's the exact same thing. Um, and then the battery for the Nico went out on me yesterday. So I just I found a Von Haus brand. V-O-N-H-A-U-S. They're all the same. All three of them are like identical except for the color, you know, so they just pump them out of the same factory. Um, these are those uh, Mountain brand wrenches. Uh, what do you call them? Flex head, deep uh, spline drive wrench set. I've got two different ones. I've got this one and then I've got the... Um, extended head those are the AC Delco brand um, them tools the uh, little half cut bits I'd like to get the complete set it's about $90 but I suspect it would be worth it this is what I changed around yesterday these were in the bottom but got the channel lock V notch metric these are just those Pittsburgh long V-notch metric. Um, they're a little bit thin, but um, nice. These are the Pittsburgh offset. I got the metric and standard in this pouch. They have a, a really rough finish, but they actually have a really good fit. Um, I really, I really like them. These are just the. Um, these are also metric and standard. I think I'm missing one, which unfortunately yesterday uh, I was working on a 1964 Buick LeSabre and it was the one that I needed was the one that was missing. Luckily I have those crow's foot, crow feet. <clears throat> this set is the Astro um, rounded damaged fastener set. Um, they're pretty neat to have. I have, actually haven't used them, but I assume they'd be neat to have. I have kind of a wrench fetish, I guess. These are just some, mostly generic. Um, the uh, ratcheting wrenches. Nothing nothing too special there. And they're the uh, no-name generic um, Yescom brand, I think. And then I do have uh, a couple of Tecton right here. The Tecton are 6-point, <clears throat> which I like. And then as I... I think it's a good idea with some sets, like, you can buy the generic, and then as you lose them, you can buy a better brand, like this is the Stark brand, this is Gear Wrench, and so forth. And then back here I had these, I think I did a video on those, and then the metric set from Sonix. And then these are the Gear Drive um, offset, I think they're like 75 degree offset. Underneath that, I have um, these. These are great. These are the Steelman brand um, metric six point. Those will definitely get you out of some bad situations. These are miscellaneous crow feet and just regular combination wrenches. Some of them I'll give. I'll give them to customers. You know, if they need a wrench. Um, <clears throat> these are also six point, but these are the uh, Extreme Torque brand. Um, you can see them on eBay. I like them quite a bit. And I supplemented them with some uh, gear wrench for the smaller sizes. <clears throat> and this is also gear gear drive. This is the um, swivel head ratcheting SAE. So those are nice to have. Underneath that we have the farmer's set. Farmer's wrenches. Service wrenches is what they're called. Uh, from um, Harbor Freight. Just metric. I'd like to get the SAE, but up here I have hex quarter inch torque, a bunch of zip ties. Um, I have uh, what are these torques, various torques and e torques, o rings that I never used, miscellaneous uh, wrenches. These are cool. 
haven't used them a lot yet, but. Um, this is kind of a junk drawer, I guess. These are also various wrenches and cutters, stuff like that. And it's hard to get in there, but it's mostly just hammers and uh, power tools and stuff like that. Uh, actually, the hammers are back here. I have a uh, <clears throat> extension cord that's on a reel too, but it's just not in here. I've got the uh, that umbrella comes in handy sometimes, and then there's the 36 inch, I think it is, pry bar. Some of this stuff is out of its place like I have two sets of uh, jumper cables in there normally one of them's in my car right now I try to keep this set out on the floor that way it's easy to get to um, just my very basic metric wrench set you can see all different types of sockets there um, mostly the uh, stubby ones I, re I really like those I didn't just don't really have another place to put them the little cassette adapter right there um, I got that at the junkyard the other day basically for free um, I know I need to clean up the floor but now we're in the back there's the two-ton racing uh, aluminum from uh, Harbor Freight as well as the jack stands a customer gave me these um, I thought that was really cool he also gave me the one and a half ton version of that same uh, jack but it's, it's kind of kind of worthless on cars I mean it'll it'll work on other things like gas tanks and stuff like that there's a lot of different stuff in there I don't really feel like going through a little aluminum ladder platform with the $20 one from Harbor Freight it's definitely nice to have and these are just uh, some lug nuts for taking off tires but the plastic ones the plastic lined ones Harbor Freight also Lots of different clamps there. bushings that I'll probably never use again. Mostly just the heat shrink stuff. A lot of basic electrical stuff in here. Battery tester, relay tester, voltmeter, battery uh, load tester. Basic cheap set of screwdrivers there on that case. Just one more. Case. This is kind of the catch-all junk drawer up here um, for screwdrivers and stuff. I guess that's another junk drawer. Huh? <clears throat> I need to get a better set of these, mainly because I've lost them. But I almost never use these. fastener, damaged fastener section. Um, never really had to use these yet. Thread file, uh, bolt extractors, same thing in here. Pry bars. thing uh, it's basically worthless wire tracker thing I, when I, whenever I really needed it it didn't work so. okay I guess that's it <laughs>